What is going on everyone? I'm your host, the one and only, and for today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick demo on how Georgia residents are able to put your driver's license or state ID on Apple Wallet. Now, this is a brand new feature that is slowly being rolled out. As a matter of fact, Georgia is the fourth state in the union, out of 50 of course, to introduce this feature. The first few were Arizona, Colorado, and Maryland. So now Georgia is the fourth state. And of course, with time, all the other 46 states should eventually have this compatibility now this does not i want to put a quick disclaimer here this does not replace your physical wallet so guys if you ever get pulled over by the police here in the state of georgia do not and i mean do not think that your digital id is gonna suffice you should still carry your physical card with you at all times and never ever think that it's okay to give an officer your phone with your digital id because then that could open you up to litigation the officer could look through your phone maybe charge you for things that honestly you could have avoided so with that being said though what is this even useful for well right now things are still in its infancy it's kind of like when apple pay first came out you know at first people were uneasy about it people were unsure if that's what they wanted to do but nowadays of course everyone uses apple pay for just about everything so i feel that in the near future having your driver's license or state id on your phone who knows maybe restaurants might have a little quick tap to pay or rather tap to identify so that you can prove that you're above 21 if you want to buy some bar drinks or something like that but for the time being the uses for this are specifically for tsa checkpoints at an airport and at least here in Georgia, the largest and most busiest airport is Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you have a digital copy of your ID that will allow you to use Face ID in your Apple Wallet app and use it, utilize that digital ID to get through TSA checkpoint, it makes things very convenient, very secure. But like I said, and even the state of Georgia said this, I wanna reiterate, it is not a replacement for your physical card it's more like a companion to your physical card at the present time so with that being said it is kind of cool a little neat to have your driver's license in there who knows in five to ten years this might be the norm who knows right but for the time being it's a nice little kind of gimmicky feature to have your driver's license in your phone stored in there on your wallet app but like i said i keep reiterating do not think that you can get away with just having the digital version of your state ID or your driver's license, make sure to carry the actual thing. So guys, anyway, I'm gonna show you all how Georgia residents, Arizona, Colorado, and Maryland residents for now are able to put and scan your driver's license directly into your wallet app. I wanna say, of course, that the process is gonna be very similar, if not the exact same, for the rest of the 46 states that will enable this compatibility later in the future. So. Of course, much of this is going to be either blurred out or skipped because I clearly don't want my personal information floating around on the internet, especially not my driver's license. But anyway, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your wallet app. So then, as you can see there at the top right, you do have a plus sign. So go ahead and click that and you have three different options. You have debit card, transit card, or driver's license or state ID. So of course, what we're gonna wanna do is click state ID or driver's license. Now, of course, these are the four states I just previously mentioned, and with time, more states should be added so that eventually all 50 states and potentially the territories of the United States will be added. I have no idea if this feature will be rolled out internationally. For now, what I can definitively say is that this feature is specific to the USA and to these four states at the time of the recording of this video. So of course I'm gonna hit Georgia. All right, so there we go. Now it says securely present your identity with your iPhone or your Apple Watch. So we're gonna hit continue. Now at this point, it's asking me to scan the front of my ID. Now thankfully, I do always have my state ID, my driver's license actually right here in my Apple wallet. So for this portion of the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip it, but just know that you have to scan the front and the reverse side of your driver's license. So after a little bit of editing magic, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so now after you scan both the front and back, it will ask you for additional verification. 
What's going to happen is it's going to send the pictures that you took plus this additional information over to the DDS, the Department of Driver Services. That way they square everything away and make sure it is in fact you. Now, Apple says that this can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, but from demos that I've seen online and a few blog posts, it happens very quickly. So it says you will be guided through several movements and all angles of your face will be scanned to ensure that it's you who is adding your driver's license. So just a really good layer of security. So we're going to hit continue. And as you can see, it's asking me right now to position my face. So let me move the microphone out of my face and go ahead and perform this step. All right, guys, so as you can see, what it asks you is to take a couple pictures of yourself, your side profile with your eyes closed and then with you smiling. So now it says send it to Georgia DDS. The following information will be matched with your Georgia's driver's license and photo on file with the Georgia DDS. Now, of course, if you're with a different state, it'll be the Maryland DDS, Colorado and so on. So now, finally, we're going to continue with Face ID. There we go. And of course, as always and as expected, you have to accept some terms and conditions. I will probably read this later. I'm normally the type to try to read terms and conditions, but for now, I'm just going to hit agree. And so finally, it's sending my information to the Georgia DDS. Verification is in progress, and I will receive a notification from the wallet app when there is an update for the Georgia DDS. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. Now it does also additionally say help Apple and Georgia DDS improve ID verification. Um, I'm gonna hit don't share. I think that's unnecessary. We're gonna go ahead and confirm. And as you can see right now, it's verifying my identity and that's really all there is to it. Then after that, you just wait a couple hours, maybe more, like I said, Apple has stated that it could take up to two days to get your verification. Um, with this being filmed on a Sunday, I would imagine probably this will be ready for me on Monday at the latest or at the earliest rather. Um, and so, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So if you want to add your driver's license or state ID, and if you happen to live in any of the four states I mentioned, that's how you do it. But guys, I really hope this demo was useful. I do think this is a nifty feature that for now is in its infancy, but with years to come, I think it's going to be tremendously useful. And society may go to a point one day where everyone just has a digital identification on them. I think that would be really cool. There's some people who are a little weary and don't worry. I definitely get that. There's some people who just refuse to put any of their information, but Apple is well known to be a company that values privacy, which is a good thing. So what this basically does is those photographs that you took get sent directly to the DDS. They verify that it's you. And then once the verification is complete, then your driver's license is now digitally stored on your wallet app. So guys, let me know what you guys think. I do think that in the future, maybe, you know, at bars, at clubs, maybe even if you do get pulled over, there might be a future where you just, you know, use face ID or whatever and are able to utilize a digital ID as a valid form of identification. But for now, this is a companion to your physical card. So make sure that you always bring your physical card with you regardless, because at the time being, this is only useful at TSA checkpoints. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And as always, if you learn something new, go ahead and drop that like. It helps this video reach a wider audience so that more people are able to put their driver's license directly on their wallet app. So guys, don't forget to stay hydrated. I just scored the Pixel 7a, so this is my next review unit, and uh, I will be unboxing it and give you guys an unbiased opinion on what I think about this budget phone. How does this compare with the SE? I think this is a fantastic contender. The only thing that I don't like is the price was increased as now the Pixel 7a comes in at $499. I wanna say before it was $429 or $449. But still, a $50 plus increase is pretty tough to swallow, especially when this is considered as a budget phone. But I'm clocking out for now, guys. Definitely stay tuned for that video, and I cannot wait to catch you all in the next one.